Today, so find a shavasana, but you can bend the knees and let the knees fall in together. Um, let the feet be a little bit wider than the hips, and you can place your left hand, left hand on your heart, right hand on your belly, to tune into that breath. Now heartbeat. Taking this time to feel centered and grounded, tuning in with the body. Start with our feet, we'll take a scan, moving up the legs of our body, just noticing any space that's holding tension or tightness right now before we begin. So total body scan. Maybe something's a little tight. Sore. Maybe we'll set an intention to work on that body part today. Well, it's okay in the hips, so the chest, go back. Could be your feet even. Tune in with ourselves. And then in this, in this space, maybe setting an intention for your class or dedication back to someone else. Beautiful way to start the week. I'm going to do the second half of the year. All right, so movement into our body by keeping the left heel back to the ground and going to a half happy beat. Grab the outside of your right foot. Keep your left hand on your left hip to keep it from lifting off the mat. And then take your foot in little teeny circles, breathing into different angles of the right hip, protecting the knee. And then we'll bring that foot to center. We'll move into a figure four. So bring the left knee closer to the body, and then you're going to pull your right shin as close to the chest as you can, maybe rocking along the low back. A little release. And then maybe pushing that right knee away just a little as you continue to pull the right foot towards the shin, getting deeper into that glute. Spine stays long. And then we'll keep the right heel to the sky, get into the back of the right leg, let the left leg go back down. Grab behind the right leg, begin to pull towards your body. You can go to behind the calf, wherever it feels most natural. Use your arm strength. Flex the toes down. Breathe into the back of the right leg. And we'll release the right leg all the way down to the mat. Same three stretches, other side. Half happy baby on the left foot. Now grab the outside of the left foot. Right hand comes to right hip to keep it pressed down to the mat. We don't want it to lift. And then you gently pull that left knee towards the earth on the side of your left rib cage. Take little teeny circles with that foot, moving your hand in both directions to guide, getting different angles of that left hip this time. Moving into figure four. Take the left ankle to the right kneecap and pulling that shin, the left shin towards the chest this time. So try to keep the spine on your mat as you do this. And then breathe into the right glute, the outside of the leg. And 
And then we'll kick the left foot high for the sky, get into the back of the left leg. Right leg returns to the mat, gently pulling the back of the hamstring or the back of the calf. And then try and flex those toes down to the face. See if you feel the elongation in the back of that calf muscle. All right, we're gonna rock and roll to seated. So grab the back of the leg, gain some momentum. Rock a few times, massaging those muscles on the outside of the spine. Until that feels good, and we'll meet in both pose. So coming up with a straight spine. We'll reach the hands forward, palms facing each other. When you're ready to balance, lift the heels and legs together. And inhale to canoe all the way down at your back, meet the mat. Exhale back to boat. Do that to your own pace. Inhale slow and control for canoe. Then exhale to crouch. You can either grab your back of the legs of the mat to balance you, whatever you want. If you want at your own pace, keep going. Inhale, find a ton of length, reach to the toes, use the core. Exhale, the core lifts you all the way up. Keep going. Couple more, last one. Nice and tall in boat pose. We'll meet here, drop the left foot, grab the right foot with the left hand, kick into the heel as you inhale, lift your chest, and then another inhale, raise the right hand up and over, land right behind you. Pull your right foot over to the left, gaze goes over your right shoulder. Spinal twist, pull your belly button in. And return to center, drop the right foot, grab the left foot. This time, the right hand, so we're crisscross. When you end up straight into the leg and the spine at the same time, pull the foot over to the right. Inhale, left foot, the hand goes high to the sky, legs behind you. Let the gaze follow the left shoulder so you feel the stretch on the outside of your neck. Nice job, come back to center release the feet and the butterfly pose. Get into the low back a little more. So take the insides of the feet together. Can give yourself a little flip up here, press into the arch. Open your feet like you're reading a book. And then we're going to forward fold. The heels can be close to the body for more hip stretch, part of the way from the body to more of the back. We'll take an inhale to lengthen to the back. Exhale, pull the chest forward. You can let the hands come down, support you. Forward folding as much as you as possible. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, a little deeper. And then press in the back up. We'll bring the legs out nice and wide. We move into one more low back stretch. We get pulled over our knees. So we can feet are out wide, we're going to a team keep stretching one side at a time. Start with the right forearm down in the center, then scooping over to the right. Open the chest to the side. Inhale, left hand sweeps up and over, trying to find those toes. Feel the legs still opening, but the focus is in the low back on the left side. Breathing into those ribs and the lung. Finding a stretch, and then we'll go through the center over to the left. Same thing on the other side. Sweep the left forearm open, over, open the chest. And inhale, sweep the right and to the left. Feel the expansion moving through the side body, down to the low back. We come through the center. We're going to cross our legs, to open the knees, and meet in tabletop position. However, you need to get there. Finding your first tabletop nice and stack. We'll begin our cat cow practice. At your own pace, drop the belly. Inhale, gaze goes up. Exhale, arch the spine and the head. Take these at your own pace, maybe even closing the eyes to really tune into the spine. 
You can exaggerate the movement by bending at the elbows as you transition. Trying to get into the entire length of the spine, moving up the head. Back the head, back to the neck. A couple more. Practice that ujjayi breathing, that deep inhale and exhale, ocean wave sound through the back of your throat. And then we'll take those hands a little bit farther in front of where they are right now. Taking nice wide hip circle, breathing into the hips as you go over to the sides. Push all the way back. You support yourself going both directions. All right, come back to tabletop. Nice stack position. We're gonna move into a quad stretch. So we're gonna bounce on the right side first. Kick this right shin out 45 degrees. Come up onto the right hand. We're gonna stretch left quad and left shoulder at the same time. Kick, inhale and kick as hard as you can. Left foot into left hand. Open the entire side of that body. Gaze on something not moving. And release back to tabletop. Drop the left knee. The left hand is going to go all the way to thread the needle under the body, reaches all the way over to the right. Come down onto the left arm for thread the needle. Let the head find that comfortable position where you can just roll over the shoulder. Feel the stretch in the top of your back. Come side of the tricep, maybe down to the front of your hand. And we return back to the center. Find that nice stable position, same thing other side. So the balance comes from this left shin shooting out. Yep, keep going, come on and kick up you with your left right hand, right foot. And then on an inhale, find that movement where you can open the quad, open the front of the shoulder. Keep kicking a little bit harder. And return, right knee down to the mat, right hand goes all the way under to the left side, threading the needle on our way back down. Reach as far as you can, let the arm come down, head come down comfortably. Left hand presses into the mat to help roll over the shoulder a little more. And return back to tabletop. Nice job. From tabletop, we'll inhale right foot back behind us, nice and long. Exhale, crunch the knee to the front, plant the foot, we'll come into a low lunge. So breathing into the front of your left hip flexor, you can stay down with the hands or maybe pressing up to lift the chest, lift the spine. Bring your abs with you on your way so you're pulling your core in as much as you can to get into the deep lunge. And then exhale, half split, straighten into the right leg. If full splits is in your practice, you can go ahead and take that. Otherwise, walk the right heel a little bit farther forward. It's a nice pose to inhale, find some length. Three breaths up the knee and exhale. Fold again. Try to feel the weight. Release the head. All right, from here, look at your right foot. We're going to come all the way to standing splits. Ground through the right foot. Left foot's going to pop off and go right to the ceiling. Nice job. Plant the hands, step back, plank pose. Pressing through the hands, find the space between the shoulder blades, pressing out of the side. Keep the hips low. And then we're going to come down to eight point pose. Let the knees drop to about five and six. Seven and eight is chest and chin. Find that natural seat in the spine. 
spine. A little back bend here. And then walk the legs long. Let the feet go a little wider than the hips. Maybe keep the feet into the floor, hands under the shoulders. Inhale, forward pose. First one, don't use your hands. Use that sneaker view just down. Keep lifting through the chest. And exhale, release chin to the mat or one ear to the mat. Next inhale, we'll do another double pose, one more back bend. This time, gripping onto the floor to pull you forward, lift you up. Maybe you can do the space pose, that whole forearm, touching the mat, pulling you forward, bigger back bend. And release, take those hands under the shoulders, press back to a child. Nice big cow movement in the spine, sending the hips long towards the heels. Inhale through the nose, over mouth, exhale. And then we'll move forward to that tabletop position. Nice and stacked, we'll do the same thing, other side. Inhale, left foot goes back to the room. Exhale, knee to chest, plant the foot for the low lunge with the right leg. The right hand comes here, opening up this time. So take your low lunge, whether it's hands on the mat, or hands pressing out. But when you lift the chest here, we're not just creating a back bend, we're pulling everything up with us, tucking the tailbone down. Bigger stretch in the front of the leg. Exhale, half split. Coming in the middle splits if that's in your practice today, stretching into the left leg. Maybe walk the heel farther forward so you have more balance. Inhale, line length through the spine, pull your belly button to the spine. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Release the head, release the head. We'll look at the left foot, bend the knee. We're going to plant into the left foot and ground, shoot the right foot high to the sky, standing splits. Release the head, and then plant the hands, step back to plant this time. You can take through your first chaturanga, exhaling down to half push up, inhaling to up dog, and exhaling to down dog. Your first chaturanga of the class always have option to meet us in child's pose. All right. This is the first real down dog of class, so walk it out here, maybe coming up onto the balls of the feet, stretching the back of the legs, let the gaze be back. Trying to lift the gaze to the inner thighs or maybe even lifting it to your belly button. Pull those low ribs in, stay nice and strong in the core. And then we'll exhale, bend the knees, look at the space between the hands, walk step and hop to the front of your mat. When you get there, grab the elbows, let the belly hang out on the thighs, grab your elbows, sway side to side. Really let the head hang heavy here. Gravity lifts the work in the forward folds. Pull the belly button up still. So we're hauling out that belly. Maybe feel what it feels like to maybe straight into one leg at a time. Just opening up a little farther. And then we'll roll up one vertebrae at a time. Your ball point is standing. Letting the head be the last one to come up. And we'll take some shoulder rolls here. Let the shoulders come up to the ears and go all the way down the back. Oh, up to the ears and then all the way down the back. That's something you really need to do. Often, especially when we're on computers, opening up the top of our shoulders here. A couple more, so forwards and back. And then maybe now we'll close up the hands, be down by the side, grounding through the bottom of the feet. Next inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, and jump the hips, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, shine higher forward. And exhale, plant the hands, step back, take the chaturanga, or skip it, meet us in down dog. Yeah. 
All right, finding our stability for a little bit of flow. We'll bring the big toes to touch in the center line of the mat. Spread your fingers nice and wide. That's our foundation. Inhale, right foot high to the sky. Exhale, right foot, right elbow, or right knee, right elbow. Give it a tap. And inhale, the leg high. Second exhale, knee to the chest. Pull it really high up into the floor and inhale, the leg long. Third exhale goes across the body to the left elbow. Give it a tap for the knee into the armpit. Inhale high, go immediately to down. I mean, wild thing. Flip your dog if this is in your practice. Otherwise, holding three legged down dog. Inhale and press the hips. Reach up with the right hand. Return to your down dog. Left right foot go down to move the left. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth. Exhale. Bring those big toes to touch in the center line of the mat. Inhale, left foot goes high to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Give it a tap, lift it higher up the arm. Inhale, left foot behind you. Second exhale, knee to chest. Crunch the ass, pull the foot high. And then inhale, the foot long. Third exhale, knee goes across the body. Right elbow, right arm hit. Inhale, the foot high. Stay here or flipping the dog, coming into a wider thing. Let both feet climb the mat, press through the heels. Inhale, lift the hips, left hand goes high. Return to your down dog, left foot meets the right. Nice job. Inhale through the nose, open mouth, exhale, release the heat. Inhale, right foot goes high to the sky. Exhale, we land the foot between the hands, come up high lunge. Sweeping my hands forward. Take a minute to settle in here. So deeper bend in your front knee. Pull your left knee up into the quad to straighten you a little bit into that back knee. Relax the shoulders. Pull that knee out so you can see your right big toe. Bring your hands together for an exhale. Twist to the right with the outside of your left elbow. Come to the outside of your right knee. Find length through the back of your spine, the back of your head, crown with you forward, and then exhale, press into your hands, twist. A little deeper over the right. Inhale back to center, high lunge. And then exhale, warrior three. Hop right into it, lifting the back foot, grounding through your right foot. Nice job, warrior three. Tons of strength. Reaching forward with the hands, back with the heel. Release the hands, standing splits, right foot crack down, left foot high. And then we drop the back foot to warrior two. All the way back as far as you can. Try to use that transition, transition from warrior three to warrior two to let that back foot land right where it needs to be. Feel the alignment. Cargo those hands open. Deep bend in the front knee. Again, we want to make sure our knees are tracking out so the hips are pulling open. Nice strong warrior two legs. Exhale, extend your side angle. Right elbow, right knee. Left hand reaches up and over. Stay here or lift the right hand off the knee. You're holding a beach ball. You've got this. Inhale, reverse warrior. Cargo the hands without moving the legs. Right hand up, breathing into those ribs again. Curl the hands all the way to the floor. Take it through Chaturanga or skip it and knee down dog. Using your breath to get you to these last two poses before you do rest and down dog. Try to complete the poses with your breath, really letting them guide the movement. Maybe releasing some heat with that open mouth side. Returning to that strong foundation, gripping into the mat with your hands, maybe bringing the big toes back to the center of the mat, setting up for the second side. Inhale, left foot high to the sky. Exhale, plant the foot, come up high lunge. Sweeping those hands forward. Keeping the hips square to the front of the room, so maybe that right hip goes a little bit farther forward. They're nice and square, settled into the legs. Relax the shoulders. Exhale with your hands, twist to the left. Get that right elbow onto the knee. 
Reach forward with the crown of your head and then exhale, press the hands together. Try to twist over to the left. Keep your high lunge legs. Inhale to your center, let's hands come back in front of you. And immediately your exhale takes you to warrior three, hopping off that back foot. Grounding through the left foot, nice job. Last bouncing pose on this foot. Use your strength. And then transition to your warrior two. So try to get that right foot to land really far behind of you. Part of the hands. Open warrior two. Nice job. Heel to heel alignment. Front toes forward. Back toes out. And then you open the hips are opening. Pulling up with your knee line. And you have one that's in the core. Exhale. Send it side angle. Right elbow, right knee. Your left elbow, left knee. Half right hand reaches up and over. And then lift the left elbow. You're holding a beach ball. Those obliques are working here. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Left hand high to the sky. Right hand down the leg. It wraps around the low back. Reaching, reaching, you're reaching to open the ribs. And then exhale, part with the hands. Step back, take it through your chaturanga bar. Skip the knee and down the mat. Look at the space between your hands on the bottom of your next exhale. Awesome. Hop to the front of the mat. When you get there, inhale, half lift, turn the right forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse small neck all the way up to standing. And exhale, hands to front center. Down by your side. All right, we're going to do standing, standing pose here. We're going to do eagle pose. We're going to get everyone nice and sweaty before we switch out a little bit. So we'll start grounding with the left foot. So you're going to want to kickstand the right toes so we feel nice and grounded with the left foot. We'll sweep the hands out and then in exhale, let the right one go under the left. Right under left. Pull those elbows up away from you. Keep your lowers tucked in. They tend to pop out, so lowers tucked in. We'll bend the left leg, try to find the chair behind you, and lift your right foot to wrap around the left. Try to get your right foot all the way to the back of the calf. Send your hips up down to find the chair. Pull up the elbows. Lift the elbows high without letting your low ribs pop out. Squeeze everything together as tight as you can. You're building strength in every part of the body. Keep squeezing, sink the hips lower, elbows higher. Warrior three with eagle arms, unravel with the right foot back, keep the elbows. Keep the elbows pulling away from the body, deep in that shoulder stretch here, ground through the left foot. Release the hands, same splits one more time, grounding the left foot, keep the right foot high to the sky. And come back to standing, drop the right foot to make the left. Nice job, shake off that left ankle a little bit. Nice job, same thing other side. Ground into the right foot first. Kickstand the left toes so you feel all the way on one side. Exhale the hands out, or inhale the hands out. Exhale, sweep them under as high as you can to get that wrap. Pull the elbows up and away. Begin to sink your hips back into that chair. Wrapping your left foot around the right this time. Grounding through the bottom of that right foot. Use your drift to focus on something not moving on the floor in front of you. Keep sinking the hips lower. You're not coming out of this for 10 more seconds, so sink the hips lower, lift the elbows higher, squeeze everything together. Super tight, nice and tight. Warrior three, eagle arms, and grab the foot, kick the left heel to the back of the room, keep your eagle arms. So you're pulling the elbows away, so you're deepening that shoulder stretch. Nice job. Release the hands to the mat, standing splits, other side. Kick that left foot nice and high, the head goes down to the top of the right foot. And then step it back, take a few shot or with the mouth set. Or skip it and knee down dog.
All right, we're going to take a pigeon pose here, stretch out the glutes. So take the right leg. You can inhale the foot to the sky and exhale at the right knee, land behind the right wrist. Walk your left leg long. So as we're settling down here, right away we want to notice if our hips are still square to the front of the room as we're getting our leg position ready. So that's why I like to bring my hands back. Inhale, find length in the spine, lift up, and then exhale. Let the chest come down. Walking your hands in front of you can lead you all the way to your pigeon pose. You can let the forearms release. You can let the head go down as much as it's comfortable. Maybe your forehead finds your hands with the mat. Big stretch in the right glute. Always have options for a few floor if this is too much for the knee. And then notice that it will be different on both legs. Notice where the right leg back to the hip. Exhales here, try and do some to really release anytime you say you're going off to this one. And then as we press the hands into the mat to lift the chest, roll over onto your right hip and swing the left foot all the way around so it lands on the outside of that right knee gap. So the left knee is pointed up, our right foot we're going to try and bring back towards that left knee, so we're kind of crisscross. We'll inhale the hands up to the sky, exhale, twist you to the left, so left hand in behind you, right hand goes onto this left side somewhere in your right hand. Inhale the line length of the spine and exhale, twist, let the gaze go over the left shoulder. If this is uncomfortable on the hips, you can straighten that bottom leg. So really Keep using the strength of the hand. And then we'll come through center. Over to the right, let your two hands guide your chest down in between, just for a little counter stretch. And then push back to center, coming to full expression of pigeon pose. Stacking ankles and knees. Trying to reduce, eventually, the space between knee and ankle, so they kind of want to be stacked right on top of each other. Maybe press the fists into the mat or the hands to lift the hips, let the sit bones come back down. This can be your stretch today. Modification to either have a block in that space to feel more supported or leaning forward with the chest, letting your hands into the mat. Lots of action in both hips. All right, press back up. Release the feet. We're going to have to roll over back to down dog. So maybe just I'm crossing the feet a little bit, roll over the knees, or however you need to get there. Back to down dog. Take a moment here to stretch out those hips that were just being constricted. Maybe open the leg a little bit, stretch the back of the hamstring. And then same thing, left side. We'll inhale, left foot up. Exhale, let the left knee land behind left wrist. Getting that shit as high to the front of the mat as you can. Walk your right knee back. Noticing right away that right hip tends to go back, so we want to keep the hips square. Inhale, find length in the spine, looking up in the pelvic area. Exhale, vision pose, release the chest down, support yourself along the way. Moving slow into these poses until you find a nice spot to stretch. 
Settle in your deep as you can go. And then as you move your lift, coming up with the chest, go over onto the left hip. Swing that right foot all the way around till it lands on the outside of the left knee. Maybe pulling this left foot back towards the glute, your right glute to get more space. And then inhaling, hands overhead. This time your exhale takes you to the right. Right hand lands behind you, left hand will grab onto the leg or hook, elbow on the knee. Inhale, find length in the spine. You're sitting right on top of those sit bones still. And then get, let the gaze go right. Stretch the outside of the neck. We'll come to center, taking that little counter stretch to the spine. Put the hands on your left side, lower the chest a little, and then come back to center. Just a little press. Back to center means in full expression of the joint. Getting the knees and the hips stacked, the knees and the feet, ankles. And then we'll do that press into the mat to lift the hip bones. See if you can feel more even as you come back down. And then moving into your variation of full expression of pigeon. One day, try to get the knee and the ankle to be right stop on top of the chin. And forward. Supporting yourself, keeping your belly button pulled up and in. So back. Lots of deeper fold. We're going to release our feet, not moving back to down dog yet. Just release these feet out from us. I want to try a one thumb pose while we're now here. I don't know how it always does not always work out for you. So it's a happy baby, but we're sitting up. Okay, so you're going to have a balance on your sit bones the entire time. Moving maybe one heel off the mat at a time, grabbing the outside of both feet. So you're inhaling to lift the spine, lifting through your chest so your spine stays straight, and then pulling those knees back to either side of you. So it's more of a balancing pose, opening those hips, but keep pulling the knees to the outside of the body. Lifting through the chest, maybe your gaze is slightly lifted. Belly button pulling in. All right, nice job. Now cross the feet all over the knees through tabletop to down dog. That one wasn't so bad. <laughs> I didn't know people would be rolling all around. <laughs> all right, let's drop the knees, come into puppy pose, bring them to the front of the shoulders really quick. So drop the knees, hips up over the knees, walk the hands forward. Maybe coming up onto your fingertips for puppy pose if you need more to stretch through the front of the arms. Let the forehead come back down to the mat. And then always try to keep that core engaged so you're even squeezing your core here. And then walk those hands over to the right and bring it to the left side body. Send the weight back into your left hip. And reach through the left fingers. Your head might come off the mat, just let it be where it's comfortable. And then walk the 
arms come set over to the right. We'll reach to the right or the left. Reach to the right fingertips. And then sending that weight back towards the right hip. All right, come back to center, push it back to the arm up. Send those hips high to the sky, let them go back, and then just settle the heels down. We'll do one more standing sequence. So inhale, right foot goes high to the sky. Exhale, plant the foot, come up warrior your one. So sweep those hands forward, try to keep your left hip pulling forward, your right hip pulling back. Back to the out at an angle. Heel to heel alignment, or maybe the left foot's a little more further out to the left. That's okay. To protect the knee. Exhale, drop the hands behind you, grabbing the hands. Open the shoulders, open the chest, gaze lifts. Exhale, humble your warrior. Drop the chest to the inside of the right leg. If you have to readjust the feet here, so you're nice and stable, you want to be stable for the humble warrior, feel free to adjust the feet. Let the head release so you're not holding up the neck at all. Pull the hands overhead towards me. All right, release the hands coming to pyramid pose. So we're going to straighten into the front leg, maybe minor, or minor adjustments in the feet, front toes forward, back toe toes to out at an angle. Inhale, find length in your spine. And exhale, pyramid pose. Hold we'll over your right leg. Big stretch on the back of the right leg. Pull the belly button up and in. And then we'll come to a ball triangle. So lift the chest. Let your left hand land on the inside of your right foot or maybe even the outside of the right foot. Somewhere with the fingers supporting you or your fist on the mat. And inhale, right hand goes up to the sky. Beautiful. Feel that stretch on the outside of the right leg. Opening to the twist. Right hand reaching forward. I mean, up to the sky. All right. I'm going to a balancing pose, your ball tap move, left hand goes in front of the right toes, your right hand stays exactly where it was, left heel lifts to the roof, balancing through the right foot, you got this. From here, warrior three, let the hands come to center, hey, prayer hands, so right to the center of the chest, grounding through your left through your right foot, going the last couple breaths, working the right leg. And then we're going to land the left foot really far back into your wide legged forward fold. Pigeon your left foot so you press through the or sorry, right heel. Press through the right heel, turn those right toes all the way into pigeon. Wherever you land, inhale, find some length in the spine. And exhale, forward fold. First wide legged forward fold. We'll take two. So find two different variations that you like. If you you want to continue that shoulder stretch, bringing those hands back overhead. Or if you want to work on the back of the legs, you can grab your calves on the outside of your feet and really pull your head towards the back. Maybe shake out that head. Yes and no, releasing the head. And then we'll walk our hands back to the front of the mat, bringing the right foot. Nice and sturdy, take it through Chaturanga, or skip it and meet in down dog. All right, one more standing flow, left side, inhale, left foot goes high to the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, plant the foot, come up, warrior one. Find those warrior one legs. Same thing, other side, pull your left hip back into the soft, your right hip goes forward. We're creating space for our own warrior. So exhale, drop those hands, clasp them together, or maybe the elbows once every time you practice. Use it to open your shoulders back, open the heart space. Exhale, on your warrior. Chest drops to the inside of the left leg. Try to keep that left hip from popping out to the left. Bring the hands overhead towards the ground. Release your neck, let the head hang heavy. Pull your belly button up and in.
Release the hands around the left foot, come into pyramid pose. So my adjustment will be a little bit of a shorter stance. I'll move back to heel to heel alignment. Inhale to find length in the spine. Exhale, pull over the left leg. For heel to heel alignment, that just means if you have lines on your back, your heels will be in the same line. Keeping those hips square, even when we're in pyramid pose. Breathing to the back of the left leg. All right, then we have to revolve the triangle. The left hand scoots high to the sky this time. Your right hand plays around with variations. Wherever you want to press into the mat, inside the left foot or outside the left foot. Pull your belly button up and in, twisting the chest over to the opposite side wall. Keep reaching with the left fingertips. Don't let the left hand drop as we transition to revolve half move. Right hand goes in front of the left toes, right heel kicks up to the sky. Ooh, nice job. And then our last balancing pose, come to warrior three, prayer hands. So your right foot stays exactly where it was. Your hands come to heart center, chip, chest facing back down to the floor. And then wide looking forward, fold, kick that right foot back and then land on the left heel, turn your left toes into pigeon. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, fold, fold. Taking a second variation here. Maybe gripping onto the mat underneath you, using the strength of your hands to pull. Eventually getting the top of your head to come into the mat. All right, stop, keep breathing. Coming back to frame your left foot. Take it through your last job around the other side. We'll need a down job. Easy breath. And from down dog, dropping onto the knees and then all the way down to the belly. We're going to stick our right arm out for a shoulder stretch. Perpendicular to the mat. And then begin to press the left hand into the mat with the roll of the front of his right shoulder. So go slow. Eventually get your left hand to stack on top of the right hand. Let your left hand support you by pressing into the mat in front of your face. Yogi's choice is to bend the left knee, press the foot into the mat on the right knee. Maybe lifting the left hand to your left hand. Find that neutral spine and then we'll go over to the left. So just stick that left arm out and perpendicular to the mat. And then begin to roll over to the left. Stacking the right hand on top of the left this time. Still using our Ujjayi breathing, keeping the awareness. All right, come back to center and then we'll move on to our backs. So whatever feels most comfortable, find your way on to your back. Hug those knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Maybe rock side to side. Low, low back and release. And then we'll let the knees drop over to the right. And we're going to sit fine twice. Take up those hips. Bring back to the center of the mat. We want to stack the hips again. So left hip stacks right on top of the right. 
Wiggle the shoulder blades a little bit higher. So your spine is long. And then cactus the left arm. Really gaze to the left. Maybe you can wrap the left foot around the right leg. So keep that left leg and the weight over to the right. Big spinal tap. Gently come back to center. Find out you're just fine. Maybe I'll move the hips a little back to the center of the mat. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Move the knees into the chest and then let them fall over to the left. Move those hips back to the center of the mat. Wrap the right foot around the left leg. Wiggle those shoulders. Maybe just a millimeter high on your back so you're lengthening the spine. And twist it, let the gates go right. Last exhale, and then come back to center. Find that neutral side. And then we're going to do some inversion to end practice. Get that reverse blood flow. So you can come into a shoulder stand by pressing the hands into the mat, swinging the hips up, eventually grabbing your low back, wiggling those elbows together underneath you. Try to hold shoulder stand for five to 10 breaths. Yogi's choice for those legs. You can kick around, butterfly pose, splits, whatever you want. Feel that constricted breathing, working the organs, a little organ massage, reverse blood flow to the heart. If this is not your practice, you can just kick the legs up the wall, just getting that reverse blood flow action. Let it be a recovery pose. After five to 10 breaths, with a beautiful shoulder stand. Let the feet drop overhead for plow pose. Big stretch in your low back. Let the feet go nice and controlled. Drop it onto the floor. You can clasp the hands together underneath you. Press your chest into the chin here. Big low back stretch. And then coming out one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. And then I will give you one minute to get any last stretches out that your body is calling for. So don't even think about it, just listen to the body. Any last stretches before we meet in Shavasana? For complete donuts. So if you any stretch, maybe observing one side of the body that needs a little bit more attention today. Just we didn't get to. Making your way to our final pose of class. Let the legs go long, toes roll out to the side. Hands down by the side, with the palms face up, or returning to left hand on our right hand on your sword. Dedicating the next few minutes to yourself. Welcome to Shavasana.
Thank you. 